Module 4 will discuss the embankment and drainage details considerations when designing a rigid pavement. The purpose of embankment and subdrainage system for a rigid pavement design is to provide uniform, stable, and permanent support to the pavement, provide a working platform for construction equipment, provide subdrainage of infiltrated water with a drainage system. The excess water combined with increased traffic volumes and loads leads to pavement distress. The sub-base and embankment should be designed to prevent pumping. Pumping distress is covered in Module 8 of this training. In the past, the department has used unbonded rigid sub-base such as cement stabilized sub-base or, or econocrete. These designs have caused significant problems due to their rigidity, lack of permeability, and difficulty achieving non-erodible properties. These are not recommended for use on new department projects. This typical is a segment of I-75 near I-4 in Tampa where econocrete was used um, on some of those ramps and they needed reconstruction. The reconstruction took place in 2003 due to the poor condition of the pavement. Currently, there are two base options that can be used for rigid pavements. The recommended option is to use asphalt base option. It uses standard materials and construction methods, provides rapid lateral drainage through drain-crete edge drains, the asphalt base option also contributes to the overall structural performance of the concrete slab through full slab base contact friction over the life of the design. The asphalt base type B 12.5 only, optional group 1, 4 inches of asphalt base over 12 inches of type B stabilization LBR 40. Standard Plans Index 120-001 shows the embankment utilization for rigid pavements using asphalt base. These are details shown on Standard Plans 446-001 for asphalt base. For a typical layout of concrete pavement with tied concrete shoulder. It also shows how the drain-crete edge drains are placed with regards to the main line and the shoulder. The diagrams include longitudinal joint and seal. This index also shows the layout for concrete main line with asphalt shoulder, how the drain-crete edge drains are shown on the shoulder joint seal. This slide shows a detail with the pipe system for a concrete pavement system with shoulder and how to install the edge drains beyond the shoulder to the roadway front slope. For roadways without open shoulders, curbing gutter or barrier walls, the outfall connects to the drainage system. This picture shows the connection of the under drains to the stormwater system. The other base option to use with rigid pavement design is the Special Select Soil Base. The use of the Special Select Soil Base is only to be used when there is a history of good performance for the construction and performance with concrete pavements. The base, the base must have sufficient permeability and available at a reasonable cost. It is particularly important when the existing concrete pavement has Special Select Soil and widening is done using asphalt base. The designer needs to verify that its drains are provided and make sure the new widening design doesn't trap water. We will cover more on this on Module 7 for pavement design widening. Even if this typical has been used in the past, the construction can be more difficult due to the less stable material and some problems that have been encountered in the field with achieving the proper depth and permeability of the soils. This option also requires a thicker slab compared to the asphalt base option, since it doesn't contribute to the structural performance of the slab. These are the details shown on Standard Plans 446-001 for Special Select Soil Base. For a typical layout for concrete pavement with tied concrete shoulders, 
This shows how the drain creed edge drains are placed with regards to the main line and shoulder on the top left side of the slide. The diagrams also shows the longitudinal joint tie bar and seal. This index shows the layout for concrete main line with asphalt shoulder seen here on the bottom right side of the slide. The drain creed edge drains details are shown and the longitudinal joint seal. Notice how the drain creed edge drain is offset one foot six inches from the joint for both details. The special select soil base is placed on the top 60 inches of embankment to provide a permeable working platform. Three inches of number 57 or number 89 coarse aggregate is placed on top of the special select soil and mixed into the top six inches. The district materials engineer must have completed an evaluation of the soils and needs to make the recommendation in writing that the material are reasonable available in order to use. Section 4.3 of the Rigid Payment Design Manual outlines the decision process to use special select soil base over an asphalt base option. This selection process needs to be addressed in the payment type selection analysis for any new pavement or reconstruction. The district design section in coordination with the district materials engineer will need to evaluate the permeability of the existing roadbed soils, take into account the cost of a thicker slab, the cost and availability of the materials also needs to be evaluated before deciding to use the special select soil base material. This concludes module four, embankment and drainage details. You're now ready to proceed to module five to discuss joint details.